right, what's up, y'all? Uh, finally, was able to get in uh, shorty shot shells and one and three fourths inch shells. And just to pull one out for you guys, let you see. That's what they look like compared to each other. I want to see how reliable they feed before we get to the range. Tell you guys, like, how many of these fits versus how many of the uh, bigger size shells fit. So, um, not too sure how this YouTube policy stuff works, but um, I guess I'll find out here. Cause, all right, so we're gonna load them up. Seven. And that is our max on the uh, bigger shells, two and three fourths. And now we're gonna switch our selector. And put switch hands. And I found out the easier way to load them is like let gravity kind of tilt it. If I'm loading in my left side, I lean it to the left. If I'm loading in the right, I lean it to the right. Makes it a lot easier to load. Okay, so uh, the big shells, we got seven, and of the mini shells, we got 11. And keep in mind that's in each tube. Remember, it's two tubes in the KSMG, so when you double it with these here, you get uh, 14 total plus one in the head. And with these, 11, 11, so you get 22 total, plus one in the head, which come out to 23. So now we'll basically, we'll uh, be heading out to the range and we're gonna see if it uh, first feeds reliable. And secondly, if it uh, shoots with less kick to my little poor shoulder. All right, I'll see you guys at the range. Alright guys, uh, we finally made it to the range and for the first shots I'm going to load one of each into the same side just to uh, see if I can, number one, feel the difference in the recoil and number two, to see if it can read the two different sizes all on the same side. So if you put the small one with the bigger one, just out of curiosity, see just how reliable it can be. So first I want to load in following that shot second so get there. Right. then we'll put the uh, second one literally right behind it in the same cylinder all right so we got this big one in first then a uh, smaller one that's going to shoot second all right Let's see what happens. Yeah. Sorry, shoulder. And I can tell you, right off the bat, it's a big difference. It's a big difference in the kick. And it fed from the same side with no issue. So I think that's a, a, another good thing with the kel -Tec. And I'll go ahead and uh, load up some more minis. Just to uh, fire a few more shots off, get a little better feel for it real quick. I'll just shoot about three of them. All right, now we got my wife up next. She's gonna uh, load one of the small ones.
Then she's gonna load one of the big ones. And let's see what she thinks about the difference in recoil. All right, you wanna brace yourself. <laughs> now, now rack it back again. See the difference? Go ahead, rack it again. What you think? Big difference? Rack it check. Make sure you rack it out. All right. Safety check. You can go ahead and set it down. Yeah, you good? Yeah, three shots. Oh. That first one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Big difference? Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, it's not huge, but it's... But it's hard. enough to where the smaller ones make it enjoyable to shoot. Go, go, go ahead and load up some more small ones. And just get you some more shots in. Load up the uh, well, how many of us up there on the counter just to get you uh, get a feel. Cause I think it's way funner with the smaller ones. Does it feel comfortable enough? Many shells are efficient. They run flawlessly with the PSG, no issues at all. You can mix the uh, big ones with the little ones in the same side, on different sides, don't matter. Look like the KSG is definitely a great shotgun. 